this video is going to be real quick. It's just a little tip for something we're going to be working on in a future project. We're going to look over doing a Tron-like glow, which is like an edge glow around stuff. And uh, to do that, we need to be able to select the edges and apply a material to them. Now, to do that, we would bevel the edges. And to bevel the edges, at first, for example, if you have this cube here, you might think go to modifiers, choose add modifier, and choose bevel, which does give you a bevel, which you can adjust, you know, the segments of and the width of. Uh, but you'll notice if I go into edit mode, those edges and faces don't exist yet until I apply it, which I have to be out of edit mode to do, apply. And at this point, if I go back into edit mode, uh, they're not selected. I have to go and select them, which can be a pain in the butt depending on the shape of the object. Uh, so for what we're going to be doing, there's a better option. So what I can do is select the object that I want to bevel, tab into edit mode, make sure I have the, the edges and faces or faces that I want to bevel selected, and I can hit space and type in bevel, and when I do, you can see there is a bevel option, or you can press control B rather than using this. So I'm gonna hit escape here, and I'm gonna hit control B, and at this point, I can start moving my cursor. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, when I'm done and I click, those edges exist and they're selected. So at this point, I can add a new material, we'll say in this case, a green one, and I can assign it to those selected. It just saves you a step of going and selecting all those edges, which could get complex depending on your shape. So I just want to show you that there is more than one way to bevel. Uh, you can use the modifier, or again, if I was to tab in edit mode and have certain faces selected, I can press control B and start beveling, which is kind of weird because I'm beveling my bevels right now. So that is it. Again, I guess I can show you real quick since this was so short. Object selected, tab into edit mode, we'll press control B. There we go, control B and then just start beveling. And with this, just as the modifier goes, I can select that and you can still adjust the number of segments if you want it over here before you click off the object. So that's it. Beveling more than one way. Thanks for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's uh, uh, Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. If you want to see that video on the Tron Glow Effect, I've already put out some little previews of what it looks like. We're going to look over different ways of doing that with both the Blender internal renderer and the Cycles renderer. And uh, I have lots of other videos coming up. Be sure to check them all out. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.